Remember, the YouTube ads feed the ducks. All right, we're recording. Organic Gardening 101, first year of the garden. Hand digging it up after we've rototilled it twice and discovered the rototiller is only doing the surface. And now we're having so much fun of hand digging. Well, I am. And there's Cindy walking across. Run, Cindy, I'm gonna zoom in on you wearing nothing. So far, this is a rock pile. And there's still lots of rocks to be piled yet. Hand digging for maximum penetration into the soil. One and a half more days of digging. And then we're done. It started out as a little garden just for us. It's now turned into one giant garden. And I hope you enjoy what I'm going to cook you this fall. Okay, this is part two of our making an organic garden. I've finished the rototill, or the digging of the soil, and got the tractor back in, and we've rototilled and picked the remaining rocks out. We're in the process of laying out the garden now. We staked it yesterday. As you can see, the soil is absolutely gorgeous. It's like walking on air. It's so fluffy and it's nice and rich. We've picked out a lot of the rocks. Actually, I think maybe, hopefully, we've gotten all the rocks. If you can see by the pile here, it's a massive rock pile. I had no idea that there was this many rocks in this garden, but there is. Was, I should say. Now we're staking it. Uh, today we'll be putting in all the posts for the pole beans and the tomatoes. We're going to use a wire system to set tomato cages. Hold the tomatoes in place. Let's keep it nice and straight and organized. Easier to take care of on the weeding. Forget the stumbling here on the video, but the ground is not exactly level. Right, it's going to be gorgeous. This garden has got huge potential. Over 270 bags of mushroom compost went into it. Lime to neutralize the acidity from being close to the swamp. A load of sand was rototilled into it. Give it some air. It's, I'm quite impressed. Three weeks solid preparation into this to get to this point. And, and tonight we're going to finish the layout, get the posts in, get the wire up for the, as I said, the pole beans and the tomatoes, and then we're going to uh, start planting uh, if everything goes right Sunday morning, and we'll have it completely planted by Sunday night, which will give you an update when that happens. Sunday, June the 11th, about 12.30. We had rain last night. We got the garden laid out yesterday, just as she started to rain. So we've got the rows marked. We've uh, installed our wire. As you can see, our rock pile is huge. We're still pulling rocks out as we're going. Now what we've done is we've put up a wire system for our heritage tomatoes, heritage, eight different varieties, nine different varieties. We've got uh, heritage pole beans and uh, heritage bush beans, which are going right here. But uh, we're gonna have it all planted today. We laid it out yesterday, like I said, and. We've got all the posts in, the wire ready, and our tomatoes, and our peas, and our squash, and our potatoes, and our zucchini's going to go here, and this is our garden corner patch, I mean, for the uh, corn. And everything we're planting here is going to be growing, well, it is going to be growing uh, organically. Uh, 277 bags of compost went into this garden, and all our seeds came from a variety of locations, but everything is... Heritage uh, Cottage Gardener, we got some uh, Heritage Harvest Seeds, uh, a couple other brines, but the majority of the seeds came from the Incredible Seeds. They had the biggest selection online out of Nova Scotia. Hopefully their seeds are good, have no idea, but everything here, like I said, is uh, heirloom. 
So there's a, every strain here is well over 100 years old. No genetically modified whatsoever. So what's going to happen is uh, the garden is going to grow in a uh, gradual pace. Everything won't come due at once uh, because uh, heirloom seeds uh, ripen in a, in a, in a, how would you say, over a longer period of time uh, the plants produce their fruit, vegetables, and instead of all happening at once. That's why uh, heirloom seeds are no good for commercial plantations because mechanically can't be harvested all at once. Everything's got to be hand-picked as it goes. So it's good for preserving. And we'll give you an update here once we get her completely planted. But today uh, we're going to have her done. And we'll be monitoring growth. And hopefully everything germinates just perfect. The soil is just gorgeous. Oh, I love that soil. Anyways, um, Matt signing off. And I hope you enjoy my garden uh, adventure. All right. Well, this is part four of our heirloom organic garden and it's now planted. It's Sunday about 5.30, 5 o'clock I should say. So it took us about five hours to plant everything. Everything's in there. And now we're going to uh, give it a nice sprinkle of water because I, it's supposed to rain but I don't think it's going to. So we've got everything in, tagged. This area here is going to be our, is our potato and our squash and our zucchini. And our corn section, it's right here. I've only got one strain of corn. Unfortunately, we bought it too late in the season and couldn't get any. Uh, these two rows here are tomatoes. Uh, we're starting by seed. There's nine different types. And it should be interesting if they turn out. Uh, we should have tomatoes sometime at uh, the end of August. And we've got our beans and our peas planted and our uh, everything's tagged. We've got our bush beans and our wax beans and our broccoli and our cauliflower, our Brussels sprouts, our beets, carrots, three different types of carrots. And I have colorful carrots, I can't wait for those purple carrots. We've got parsnips, got onions, lettuce, and our rutabaga. And now we just gotta give a little squirt of water and start uh, paying attention to it every day. And hopefully, we start getting something for all our efforts. Stay tuned for more updates from our heirloom organic garden. All right, it's June the 19th. It's been a pretty good week. Uh, we've had a lot of things come up on our heirloom organic garden. Uh, actually, uh, phenomenal uh, germination this week. Uh, we had results in less than uh, three days. Rutabaga was coming up. But we've had a uh, nature take its toll on us. We have crows. So this video now is rated X. You've been warned. So now we've got the rutabaga, which came up in a matter of like two days, the whole row of rutabaga came up. And we got our onions and our lettuce came up here in about four days. Uh, parsnips, no sign of parsnips uh, yet, nothing coming up. Uh, carrots, completely MIA. We've put up uh, tinfoil plates, uh, anything here to this crow problem. Uh, we've got uh, no carrots. The beets, we've had uh, both rows of beets uh, have come up. The Early Wonder and the Detroit Dark Reds have both come up, uh, which is very, very nice. Our Brussels sprouts even came up. The whole row is showing signs of coming up. The cauliflower, uh, it completely came up, the whole row. Uh, the broccoli, it was actually two days uh, the broccoli made its appearance. Let's see if I can zoom in here so you can see. I'm having a hard time viewing this because the sun's on my back and the uh, LED uh, screen is not showing up. Our beans, of course, they came up, both our rows here, uh, our wax beans and our uh, two different types of beans. I don't know if you can see it, but they, they've come up. Today was the first day that our, our seed, starting from seed tomatoes, 
these two rows here, the tomatoes uh, actually at the far end, uh, the tomatoes are showing the Eva purple bells uh, showed this today, uh, came up. So we're on, we're on track for uh, first week of September. Our uh, peas, snow peas, have uh, shown their uh, little heads come up. Uh, farther down there, our, uh, our pea, snap peas have shown up. Uh, this row is empty because it's being planted Wednesday with uh, peas. Uh, and then we've got our pole beans. This whole row here of pole beans, they've really shown up at the other end. Uh, I don't know if I can show you here. As you can see, the pole beans have come up. Now we've come to the problem, our corn. The crows love our corn and they've wiped out three out of the eight rows. They've completely stripped. Uh, they've taken the little shoots out, eaten the bottoms off. So we're, this week we have to rush order us some more corn because we can't plant any other type. We have to keep planting the heirloom. Uh, so we're, we're sort of screwed. But we've got Wicked Wendy. And this is our scarecrow. We're going to try to see how she works, plus our pie plates. So I've got the shotgun out. And uh, we got one shot off this morning. But now, uh, after 15 years of being here, the crows have never uh, taken off. They've always come out in the deck and they just hang around. But now that there's something here to eat, I don't know if they just know that they're stealing something and that they're going to get shot at. But now I can't get a clear shot at the crows. So came in uh, Saturday morning, pulled in the driveway and two crows were in the potatoes and one had one in his mouth and the other was digging one out of the ground. Our squash, the summer zucchini I should say, uh, has come up just really, really nice. Uh, they were into that but I had enough planted. And then we've got our spaghetti squash, it's popped up really well. Like I said, everything has germinated to a phenomenal rate. Uh, but uh, the potatoes got destroyed this week by the crows also. We've got our, our peas. They've really done really, really, really well. And like I said, it's just start, our tomatoes are just starting to show. I don't know if I can get you a shot of uh, the tomatoes coming up. They're very, very small. Can you see that? The little tiny tomatoes. But they're coming up. And uh, the early wax beans. They've come up. Everything's, uh, I'm very happy with the germination, but uh, we just got to now deal with Mother Nature. And this week has been a bad week. We've lost uh, about 150 corn plants to the crows. So we're, we're at 50%, so i got to order more corn seed this week, and there's a postal strike on, so I might even have to get it couriered in. But this is our update on our heirloom organic garden and the uh, toll of mother nature and it's been a, uh, a great week except for mother nature has decided to teach us a lesson so stay tuned we'll give you an update next week all right it's june 26 and we've had a a good week and a bad week. It's rained a lot, uh, but we're not in North Dakota and we're not in Manitoba or Saskatchewan, so we're a lot drier than they are, but we definitely got a lot of rain and it really pounded the old heirloom garden. So we're going to give you an update here on the heirloom organic garden that we've done and uh, it's been a, some progress has been made on some items and some setbacks. Something that's really found our rutabaga delicious. Uh, this end of the garden has gotten completely eaten, that end not. Uh, now our spinach, our lettuce I should say, is coming up great. Our second crop of lettuce right there is uh, coming up also. I don't know, I'll just take a quick zoom in to see if you can see. Uh, probably not, but it, it is coming up. It was planted on Tuesday night. Our carrots have all uh, now shown their colors. They're coming up. Our parsnips is coming up. So we're, uh, we're on track there. Our beets are growing like crazy. Nothing's eating them. 
Uh, now the sad thing, our Brussels sprouts, something really likes their Brussels sprouts and has thinned them out like drastically. Uh, a little tiny critter of some sort, insects, or uh, broccoli, cauliflower is coming up great. Uh, broccoli's coming up fantastic actually. And the uh, cauliflower is good. A little bit of eating at this end, but it seemed to have stopped. Our beans are coming up great. Now, if you notice the top of the garden, I don't know if you can see the sand. It rains so much that it basically uh, flooded the garden. You can tell by the top of the garden soil, it's got a lot, a lot of water. Our tomatoes are coming up, and uh, they're, they're tiny, but they're, uh, we're planning on September tomatoes, so. And we've got nine different varieties, and they're all coming up, so it's really doing well there. Our snow peas have uh, come up, and our uh, snap peas down there have also come up. And we've got our pole beans. We planted another row here on Tuesday. And uh, our, uh, our uh, I forget what type of pole beans they are again. They, they're really coming up. They won't be long. We'll be getting them one up in the wires. And we had to replant our corn. So we've got now, we've got five new rows of corn planted uh, because of our problem with the crows. And we actually transplanted uh, what the crows didn't get into these two rows uh, Tuesday night and we moved them over and they have not shown any sign of shock from moving them because uh, you need to have at least three rows uh, tight close together for pollination on corn. So they're going to mature at different times so we're not going to have a problem with cross pollination. So uh, it's uh, we're still going to have corn, it's just that we're going to have two batches uh, spread apart and our uh, zucchini have come up really well and our squash. Now, as you can see, we're flooded out here. Uh, the garden really got, it's wet, man. I mean, there'll be no water in, uh, this week coming at all. Uh, but now we've got our crow, scarecrow. Now, this scarecrow is so good that it's actually fooling the deer fly. It's just covered in deer fly. So, uh, but it works. Uh, the crows and actually the dogs, they also were uh, freaked out about it at this point in time. Let's see if we can get a shot here of the uh, deer fly. It's a person. Uh, there's some deer fly, not a lot right now, but it just stopped raining. So, but the pie plates and the scarecrow are, are working. Our uh, potatoes, they've come up this week. Uh, they got a little bit drowned in this section, but we've got potatoes. They're, they've popped up, and can't go in the garden to do any weeding yet. So we're gonna have to wait until she dries up a little bit. But the pole beans are really coming up nice. And this whole row is going to be nothing but nummy nummy six to ten inch long beans Oof. and we've got our peas and these, this is a pole bean also we planted on Tuesday and uh, our tomatoes if you take a look here they're definitely coming up we've got tomato action happening from seed and you couldn't ask for any worse weather this week the amount of rain we had just washed out everything you can see here we had a lot of wash out and our beans, our bush beans, and, and our broccoli, and our cauliflower, and Brussels sprouts, and our beets sunk uh, to my ankle there yesterday. It went right past my ankle. It was so wet. And our carrots, everything's coming good, and our parsnips have decided to peek through. You can see the green. I don't know if you can see it or not. We got parsnips, so everything's coming up really well and uh, rutabaga as you can see the flood out here it rained hard hard so uh, like leaving your sprinkler on for three days solid amount of rain that came down but we planted uh, this lettuce Tuesday night and it's Sunday and it's already coming up so the rain obviously it liked the rain this week because it uh, has come up really well. Now well, we're, it's happening, and uh, we're uh, quite happy, even with the harsh weather we've had this week. Our heirloom organic garden is rocking away. So until next week, signing off, and hope you enjoy the uh, the updates. Good morning. It's a beautiful Sunday morning, uh, nice and early. It's about I don't know, quarter eight, and it's uh, July the third, and we're giving our update here on our heirloom organic garden and uh, it's growing like crazy 
the damage we had done by the uh, little critters we've repaired this week and uh, now I'm going to give you a quick tour of the explosion of growth. All right, we moved, uh, we had to thin out uh, anyways of the rutabaga, so we transplanted yesterday the rutabagas that got eaten. And uh, they were a little wimpy yesterday, uh, but today they're springing back up, so that's going to be a positive. And then we've got our lettuce coming up, just great onions, of course, and our lettuce uh, is, romaine is now popping up very, very well. We put our last batch that we planted uh, 10 days ago is, uh, it's coming up really nice. And we're uh, gonna plant today uh, another section. Uh, we're planting them 10 days apart. The parsnips are really coming up good. Uh, the carrots, now the carrots uh, are now just starting to show the carrot tops. And uh, you can see here, it's starting to get the foliage of the carrot. So just a little hairs and it's happening. It's hard to believe that we completely weeded this garden and there wasn't a weed here two days ago. Uh, the rain we had was just bringing the weeds up really well. And the uh, beets are just exploding. Oh, nummy beets. And then we've got our Brussels sprouts, which we also transplanted from the thick down at the other end to the damaged at this end. And yesterday they were wilted, today they're springing back up. And the same with the cauliflower, we transplanted uh, this end got eaten by something. Uh, just this end, uh, some little critter came in, insect of some sort. And our broccoli is uh, coming up great. And you can just see the explosion of growth taking place here. It's just our beets, our beans, I mean, uh, are coming up really well. Our, second batch of beans which you can see the different sizes they're coming out just great our tomatoes are getting branches they're uh, they're really happening here we got lots and lots and lots of tomatoes and lots of thin those out when they start getting a little too big got peas our second batch, of pea, second batch of peas are coming up really nice. Our pole beans. Our second batch is coming up, it's catching up to the first batch actually quite quick. Our corn is just taking a life of its own here. It's all our five rows we had to plant in after the crows decided to make our corn patch their breakfast which we've since got rid of the crows. We didn't even have to shoot one. And our, our corn's coming up really nice. And our zucchini is exploding. And I, this is the, uh, the uh, scarecrow we need to keep the crows away, but it unbelievably attracts Deer fly. I'm just swarmed completely in deer fly right now. You wouldn't believe what's bothering me. Uh, and they're coming off of this thing, the scarecrow. They think the scarecrow's a person. And they're just flying all over the place. And they're sticking to this thing. It's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Our spaghetti squash. And the potatoes are really, really, really coming out good. Really come out good. Little potatoes, our pole beans here. Coming up really good. Our second batch of, of peas. And our, our tomato plants. Tiny, but yeah. <laughs> we'll have tomatoes in September. Oh, nice. And our beans are coming up nice at this end. Our transplanted broccoli that uh, when I was spreading them out, I put too many seeds at one end, so we had to transplant. But, uh, everything's coming up really good. 
Our carrots are starting to look like carrots. So that's our that's sorry for the lengthy update this week, but it's just that we've uh, had a major explosion of growth. It's coming together, and uh, that'll be one hell of a lot of food here. So, so signing off till next week. Hope you enjoy the update, and uh, we're enjoying the uh, growth. Have a great day. All right, it's July the 11th, uh, Monday. We're, we're a little bit late here. Yesterday I was a little busy, so I didn't get my update done. But we've had a, a good week for growth and a lot of bad things have happened to us. We've had uh, Mother Nature take its toll. But things are growing great. We discovered we have ants and they are eating the romaine lettuce. So we are now putting down little bottle caps with a little ant poison to kill the ants because we're losing a head a day. I know it's not organic, but hey, I don't know how else to stop the ants. Can't find any answers on the internet. But as you can see, the garden is growing great. Uh, Brussels sprouts a little bit slow, you know, cauliflower doing well, broccoli's doing well, beans slowed down a little bit, the ants are just going crazy. We had a rainstorm here Thursday that decimated the garden, pounded it to the ground flat, uh, and I mean flat, totally pounded her. Everything was laying down, it was a good rainstorm, the hand of God came down. Corn went totally sideways, but it's, uh, it is now coming back up. We actually had ants eating the corn too this week. Um, so we're, we're having uh, the wrath of Mother Nature. She's doing a good job. Can't keep up to the weeds. Going after the weeds non-stop. And they are coming back non-stop. Uh, but things are growing good. Um, our deer fly are just driving me nuts right now. We're completely surrounded. The humidity is just right for them. Oh, slaughtered that guy. But it, uh, potatoes are growing great. Pole beans are they're going now, starting up the wire. So it's it's happening. The garden's getting growth, but we're, as I said, we've got Mother Nature going after us daily. If it ain't uh, the hand of God coming down with rainstorm pounding, and I mean pounding the garden, we got insects that are eating everything. But thank God we planted a really big garden, and uh, even if we have a 50% failure, we'll still have enough food for us for the year. So that's all that really matters. That was the goal of the garden. And it would have been nice to have a lot extra to give to my friends, but unfortunately, we're more likely gonna have just enough for us. So until next week's update, and I won't be late next week, I will do it right on Sunday. Uh, till then, have a great day. Well, it's Sunday afternoon and it's absolutely gorgeous. 34 degrees at least, uh, probably pushing about 38 in the sun, 40 in the sun, nice and hot. Had to stop weeding. And we're in the midst of uh, Weed Mageddon. And uh, just couldn't do any more. We'll come back again tonight after supper, 6 o'clock. The uh, rutabaga's coming up real great. The uh, romaine's getting ahead of day to the ants. Can't stop them. Um, carrots, the parsnips. Weeds are bad down here by my standard, but they're being taken care of. The beets are growing great. Espresso sprouts are coming up. Our uh, cauliflower, our broccoli is exploding, beans are going like crazy, and this is the official uh, Weedamageddon zone, uh, every weed's been gone, we, we went at it. Now the tomatoes are, they're going like crazy, I'm seed these little guys, gotta do a little thinning today, We've got a little bit too many plants, uh, so unfortunately we're gonna have to just snip them off because there's nothing else we can do, but they need to be thinned out. Our peas got a little bit screwed up. We had to lower the wire because the wire was too high for them. So we might end up losing our peas. Uh, a little too much handling. Our pole beans, on the other hand, we had to add a wire to the top because they're growing uh, past the wire now. Uh, the corn's coming up like crazy. It's growing good. Some of my favorite vegetables. Or greens, I should say. We've got our first crop of corn is exploding. And we've got down here our zucchini, which we just this morning found our first flower. And there was a bee in it when we found it. So that's happening. Our squash is coming slow but sure. Potatoes are coming up real good. They're, they're 
we're starting to show signs of flooding. So the flowers won't be far behind. As you can see at this end, the pole beans are uh, growing past the wire on us, so we had to add that. And we've got mental note next year, pole bean wire six feet tall. Uh, but she's coming up, and as you can see, this wind is down here. Are huge. But we gotta thin them out. Too many tomatoes in a tight spot, they ain't gonna work. Our beans are growing like crazy. Broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, beets are exploding. They have to be thinned out soon. Carrots, parsnips. Uh, as you can see, the weeds down here are, uh, need some serious addressing. Which they're going to be taken care of here in the next day or so. A little bit too big of a job just for the wife. I had to step in and take over. So until next week. What more can I say? Things are growing. No critters, except for the ants. Have a great day. It's Sunday. It's a beautiful day. We've had an explosion of growth and we're now on to our first harvest. We've actually uh, stopped uh, officially buying uh, vegetables at the grocery store on Thursday uh, because now we're eating uh, right out of the garden. And uh, we started off with uh, some beet tops, but we had uh, some uh, rutabaga tops, some collard greens this week. Uh, they were good. Uh, we thinned them out. We've got our, our parsnips just exploding and our, our actually our romaine lettuce, uh, even though the ants are making a mess of it, we've got some massive heads with hearts. Just take a look at that. Uh, unfortunately tonight we're not having Caesar salad, which I'd really like. We're gonna be having, or actually we are having Caesar salad tonight. Actually, I just remembered. Uh, the carrots are, are coming up great. We thin them out. We thin the beets out. That's what we're processing right now. We've got a dog swimming pool just full of uh, leaf greens. We're going to be blanching and freezing here today. And I'm talking a lot. Uh, we've got uh, we had to thin out everything here. Uh, we've got our broccoli, our Brussels sprouts, our cauliflower. Beans are exploding. Lots of lots of flowers happening on them. Our tomatoes are, are coming great. We've actually had flowers this week appearing on the tomatoes since we thinned them out. Our peas are flowering, our beans are flowering, everything's flowering, they're growing like crazy. Uh, our corn is coming up just fantastic. Our first batch of corn is coming up really, really well also. Strange looking call our uh, husk, but very, very thick. We've got zucchinis. They've come up this week. We've actually, let's see if we can find one here. Uh, oh yes, there's one right there. I'll show you. Look at that, eh? Oh, we're going to be having zucchini this week. And it's growing crazy. Nothing on the uh, the squash, but we do have flowers showing up. They've uh, appeared, but no uh, vegetable yet. But it's coming up. The potatoes are coming up great. We're going to have to heal them this week. The beans are, are growing. Mental note for next year. Put six foot wire in. Beans just keep going for the sky there. That guy's almost six and a half feet tall. The tomatoes are coming up really nice. And as you can see, we've got the flowers have started. Oh, tomato flowers. So we're, we're en route. It's happening. So we've got the, the beans are, are really coming nice. Nice little purple flowers on those guys. Look at that. Look at that. We're going to be having beans here shortly too. We've had to, like I said, we thinned everything out here so they can, the Brussels sprouts and the cauliflower and the broccoli will grow up. But uh, today is dealing with the beets. And a lot of beets got taken out today and uh, we're going to have a lot, a lot of, of leaf, which we're freezing. So things are going great and it's official now. We're no longer eating produce from the grocery store. It's over. I'm very happy. And if we can just continue this. We'll be eating basically for free. Anyway, signing off. It's been a great week. Things are growing fantastic. And the deer fly have just started to bug me. It's July 31st. It's a beautiful Sunday morning and the garden has exploded. Right, the rutabagas are... We thinned them out. We had a snack of rutabaga tops last week. The uh, onions are coming great. We've over, we have got way too much romaine just for us thinned out the uh, turnips and the carrots and they have just exploded now 
And the beets was the best score last week. We, uh, we thinned the beets out and we got 26 pounds of uh, beet tops frozen and about 10 pounds of baby beets, which are they're very tasty. We thinned out our cauliflower and our broccoli and our Russell sprouts and we waited a little bit too long on that though. We might end up getting screwed. Our beans have just gone nuts. Uh, you'd never be able to tell that each of these rows were panned 11 days apart and they all look like they're the same age. They're just, uh, it's mind numbing the amount of growth. Tomatoes have just exploded considering these are started from seed, outdoor. This is the size of them. Definitely some serious tomato plants. Our peas are growing great. Our pole beans, mental note, must be six feet of wire. We keep having to add rows to the pole beans because they're going like crazy. Just take a look there, that's a serious row of beans. Our replacement corn, which was planted two weeks after, is going great. The original corn that the crows didn't get, it's uh, the zucchinis are going crazy. We've got uh, flowers everywhere. Let me get a shot here. I've got the flowers. We've got, uh, they're massive. They're like some kind of mutated giant zucchini. But look at this. I don't know how does that look. The uh, massive, massive amount of flowers in this thing. We're, uh, we're picking them off faster than we can even eat them now so but they're a seriously big zucchini plant uh, that's an heirloom uh, this one was a uh, uh, black beauty zucchini uh, it's about a hundred year old strain and it's definitely hardy our uh, spaghetti squash is just starting now to explode crawling across here it should start filling this whole area up our potatoes are massive them this week. We're going to have to heal them again here. Uh, as you can see the beans are one serious wall of beans. A lot of beans here. <laughs> really great peas that are coming up. We uh, Even though we moved them to reinstall the wire they rebounded. And look at these tomatoes. Started from seed inside. That's a big tomato plant from seed. Started June 11th, outdoors. Beans. So it's, uh, it's going great. We've got the food situation under control. 14 hours on our hands and knees last weekend. So we're, uh, we're on track to have an excellent crop. Rebounding from the plight of insects we had. And, so this is the update. Good morning, Tuesday morning, August the 9th. We're a little bit late on our update this week. Uh, we basically have been harvesting for the last two days and uh, we've just finished off about 65 pounds of beets and beets tops are frozen, packed away in the freezer and the garden is exploding. Tonight uh, it's gonna be beans, but I'll give you a quick update. Rutabaga going through the roof. Huge, huge plants. Uh, the onions are uh, turning into monsters. Romaine, getting sick of eating romaine. We're having far too much romaine parsnips and carrots are really coming well actually if you look I'll try to get you a shot here the carrots are splitting the soil and uh, they have uh, if you go down the row you can see the whole row splitting even the baby carrots are are splitting the soil and we've got uh, a lot of good growth happening here we thinned out the beets again now we've had uh, the beet tops are exploding again we're gonna have enough beet tops to sink a battleship our uh, Brussels sprouts won't be till October. Cauliflower and broccoli, same boat. It's going to be uh, September before we have anything there. But our beans tonight, we're attacking yellow beans. Uh, as you can see, uh, we're basically swamped here. Uh, tonight we're going to freeze probably about 15 or 25 pounds of beans. Our tomatoes are, are going crazy. If you take a look here, we've got tomato plants almost four and a half feet tall down there. But it's, uh, it's hard to believe these little guys started, or big guys started from seed. 
our peas are, are going great. If you take a look here, we got a good shot. We got uh, a ton of peas happening. Snap peas down there, another week and a half, we'll be pulling them. Our velour beans are, are going crazy. Uh, we'll be pulling these guys tonight. We've got a, a bunch of this that'll be probably a snack, not enough for freezing, but our, our gauntlet of pole beans is crazy. It's now, they're growing over to make an archway to each other. The corn, I'm gonna pull back so you can get an idea here. Uh, this is the second batch of corn, which is going quite well. This bantam corn, which is only supposed to be five feet tall, uh, has decided to become seven foot plants. You look, I'm standing beside it, and this plant is well above me. Oh, and they're not supposed to be any bigger than five feet. The little six inch cob, so I don't know what we're gonna end up having there as far as size wise, but there, there are some guys in there that are eight feet tall. And you can see the top there. Now our uh, zucchini, it's just a freaking giant, man. Our squash is starting to spread onto the lawn. It's going to start taking over this whole area. The zucchini, though, are, are, that's a big plant. That thing's pushing three and a half, four feet tall. Our potatoes going crazy. We dug some up this weekend. They're baby potatoes right now. So another couple weeks we'll have a whack of potatoes. Our beans are, are just crazy. You look down this aisle here, it's, it's nuts. And it's a mental note when you're doing pole anything, you need at least four to five feet, not three feet spacing. Like the tomatoes, uh, they're growing like crazy. But uh, overall, the, the garden is coming up quite, quite good. And as you can see, the growth is far none fantastic. So, so far as of uh, last night, we're up to about, we've got about 100 meals frozen. And uh, we should have 12, 800 meals by the time we're done. Far more than we thought we were going to get. Anyways, this week's, this week's update. Have a great day. Hello, it's August the 14th and it's a beautiful Sunday morning and I just want to show you something we put out of the garden yesterday. Uh, these are only supposed to grow uh, about 6 to 8 inches long and uh, the little sucker's pushing about a foot. Uh, that's a yellow pole bean. It's as sweet and as tender as can be. The size uh, did not make it woody. So we've been harvesting all week. We're up to about 125 pounds now in the freezer. We've given up trying to figure out the number of uh, meals. It's strictly by poundage now in the garden. Uh, uh, we're basically harvesting every single night. Uh, it's a full-time job now trying to keep up to it. It's growing uh, faster than uh, we can package it away. But I'll give you a quick update this week. Rutabaga are uh, growing uh, phenomenal. Uh, they're getting bigger and bigger and bigger. The onions are huge. Uh, we actually had to give a whole bunch of romaine away. Uh, we just couldn't eat it. It was planted way too much. As you can see, the size of this stuff, everything is just growing big. Uh, carrots, we're pushing are like 18 inches tall here. Uh, it's, it's, <laughs> it's unbelievable. Beets, uh, we're, uh, this will be probably our third and final crop on the beets, so we thin them out now twice. Uh, we're up to about 70 pounds of beets and beet tops and bottoms. Uh, had to have more this week uh, because it was just a crazy growth on the broccoli and the Brussels sprouts and the cauliflower. We actually had to get rid of some plants and choke each other out. But they're they're growing as you can see the size of these things. The beans are uh, going crazy. We can't even walk down the rows anymore. Tomatoes have gotten right out of hand. We've thinned them out and uh, it, it's we can't even walk down the rows. As you can see, like the, it's it's. And there's tomatoes all through them. There's going to be so much food there, uh, but we can't. You have to be very careful not walking through everywhere. Mental note: when you're planting an organic garden uh, with these uh, heirloom seeds, you gotta get four feet at least between the rows. Uh, three is just not enough. Like you, you take a look here. It's. Uh, you know, you, you gotta now. You can't even walk down the pole beans. They're they're going across. They're like trip wires knocking you over. The corn is. Uh, is blown away by the amount of food we're getting here and I, I you know I've said in previous videos I figure it's going to be about 2,000 pounds uh, easily 2,000 pounds uh, we're only supposed to get two to three cobs on this bantam corn and uh, we're counting five and six cobs uh, developing on each one so everything's growing beyond anything we could ever imagine uh, zucchinis uh, we've had to we put the sprinklers on last night which is only the third time we've had to water being this low-lying area we've had a lot of 
uh, you know, the water uh, table's higher here, but uh, the, the vegetables are growing at such a pace. Yesterday, uh, the ground was completely split. Uh, uh, cracks everywhere. She's sucking the moisture right out of the ground. But this this much growth, like if you just get back and, you know, to really take a look at it, it's, I'm so happy with the turnout. It's uh, in first year of uh, vegetable gardening and I, I'm, uh, I, I'm, I've, I've, I've amazed myself. Uh, but the you know the tomatoes like take a look at this 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 guy here this tomato plant I, I'm six feet tall and this tomato plant is up to here like we're talking a good four and a half foot tomato plant and this was planted June the 11th by seed and uh, that one's a debarro which is a plum tomato plant uh, so they're all shaped like plums um, like you can't even walk down the aisles it's uh, the rows are it's just gotten crazy. It's it's great. It's great. So next next weekend will probably be the last uh, beets. Uh, we we'll get the beet tops out of here, and uh, that'll be done. And uh, the carrots. We've got our baby carrots. Are as you can see, are much smaller uh, in comparison to the other carrots. But uh, they're they're going to be good. I can't wait to get into the carrots. And the parsnips. Everything's just uh, it's it's going great. Uh, we can't ask for much better. Mother Nature is is certainly uh, doing a good job for us here, and uh, we're very happy. Today's going to be a busy day. We've got a lot of uh, pulling beans to pull and freeze, and it's just uh, life is great this week. And the garden, uh, we're on. Week, this will be the week five now that we are, we're on to week five that we're no longer going to the grocery store, and we're eating fantastic tasting food. Good morning, it's August 21st, a beautiful Sunday morning, it rained all night and uh, we're supposed to get a, a lot of rain today, about 30 millimeters, one inch, uh, but the garden uh, has exploded, we had a water once this week which really helped and uh, we're uh, going to be cleaning out the beets today, today's the last day for the beets, uh, way too many beets, but anyways, uh, things are growing great, we've got rutabaga already, uh, that we found a couple so far that are over 6 inches in diameter, so that means like that's like an 8 or 9 inch, you know, uh, rutabaga we're going to have probably uh, and as you can see though we've got romaine that's growing like trees or so much of it and uh, the carrots are huge uh, we're going to be doing carrots today if we get the the beets but look at this these beet tops it's crazy i never uh, thought uh, in my life that beets were such a productive uh, plant this uh at least that two strips there and i bet you there's going to be about 150 pounds of food has come out of those two strips uh, by the time we're done today our Brussels sprouts are exploding. Uh, they're really, really starting to uh, turn into Brussels sprouts. The, uh, the stalk's getting huge on them. I don't know if we'll get a shot in here. Uh, you can see it there. They're getting so thick. So they've got uh, the next two months to uh, keep growing. And uh, we've got our uh, cauliflower is starting, just starting to uh, perform, form heads. And uh, we've got broccoli appeared. Uh, there's uh, The heads are starting to form. So, And the size of the broccoli plants. The, so when they start producing, uh, I think we're going. You know, we're not going to have a long season, but uh, uh, you know, I think the month of September is going to be a lot of broccoli in the house. Um, the beans are—they just keep growing. Uh, they don't stop growing. It—they uh, just keep producing more and keep growing. Uh, they were—they were supposed to be done growing uh, last week, uh, 60 days, and they just keep going. It's bizarre. We keep picking them and. Uh, you go back and there's more flowers and they just keep producing uh, the beans. It's crazy. It's, yeah, as you can see, the tomatoes are completely... It's, it's a write-off. You can't even get in there. Uh, it's turned into one giant... Uh, take a look here. I don't know what that looks like. Just to give you an aerial view of this row. Uh, and these plants are spaced out three feet apart. And they've turned into these giant tomato bushes that... Now you can't even get down there uh, at all. Like you can't even get in there. It, it's just you physically cannot walk down the tomatoes anymore. It's uh, and these were planted by seed. It's crazy. Nobody can believe it. Everybody that's seen them just cannot believe that these were planted by seed. As I said, these these heirloom seeds. These came from incredible seed. Uh, and there's nine different strains here. <sighs> Blow your mind. There's one sick plant. That's it. The rest are uh, absolutely just crazy the the way they're growing the peas are going to be coming huge we we're going to be this the peas are going to get cleaned out here and hopefully uh, uh, we'll help the tomatoes down the side the pole beans 
uh, are now like they're becoming so thick uh, they are it, they're about 30 inches uh, thick the rows uh, they're hanging as you can see you can you can't even walk down here and they just keep they're the same thing they just keep producing flowers and we keep picking them and it just keeps going and going and going like they're uh, and I that's the thing I read about these heirloom seeds is that they don't come due all at once well I didn't realize that they just keep going it's, they don't stop uh, okay look at this the, the amount of the beans here it's 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 nuts <laughs> I can't believe the food and what we've got frozen so far and what we've got to pick we're gonna this week's gonna be a real busy week uh, doing the uh, the pick and the corn is uh, it's all this it's growing so fast now and these guys uh, they're only supposed to have three cobs uh, per and like we've got plenty of one this was one seed and it comes up like a bush and there's like uh, six stalks and each stalk has like one or two cobs and it's like we're not even we're only still getting two to three cobs per corn per plant and we're getting between six and ten and they're like nine feet tall uh, it's crazy how tall they are and they're only supposed to be six feet tall the zucchini's uh pushing almost uh, almost four and a half feet tall and it's, it never does not sprout producing uh, the squash is, is taking over the size of it uh, potatoes not a big potato lover but wife wanted them and the beans are just key it's it's we, I think this week we got uh, 30 pounds of beans as you can see you can be getting down here now they they're growing across and you can't even walk down there to get it's like you need to be a little tiny person uh, to do the picking on the beans and I happen to have a little tiny person on staff here so they can get down there we've got uh, like it's I'm blown away this like this guy here I counted uh, 70 tomatoes hidden inside this plant it's pushing uh, well take a look I'm six feet and it's up to here well, so that's uh, that's a pretty big. Uh, there's three of them right here though, that size, and they just keep getting bigger. So the garden's really exploding. We're gonna get a lot of rain today, and uh, I, I'm really happy. It's, it's it's phenomenal. I can't believe the growth. It's like they're like some kind of freakish plant, which I never thought heirloom plants were this strong, and. I haven't seen a garden yet this year that matches this at all. So I'm a big heirloom fan now and organic rocks. Have a great day. It's a beautiful Friday morning. A little bit late on my update. We missed last weekend. We have been busy harvesting. Uh, it's September the 2nd and we've come uh, to the end of a lot of items. Uh, the beans uh, are gone now. We've uh, completely taken them out. The rutabaga, they're growing like crazy. We've actually got rutabagas here that are over 10 inches in diameter and they're still got another month to go. It's crazy the size. We're uh, letting this uh, wave of uh, romaine go to seed because we want to get seed from it. Our parsnips, they're not going to be till the end of uh, September, October. Uh, this weekend, it's carrot weekend. All the carrots are getting ripped out and they're they're ready to come out. They're big, they're huge. They're, it's time for them to come out. Uh, all the uh, uh, Detroit uh, beets, they're gone. Uh, Brussels sprouts, they've got another month to go. Cauliflower, not happy with cauliflower. Uh, they, we bought that from the Heritage Harvest Seed Company and uh, they're absolutely garbage seeds. There's absolutely not a single cauliflower head appearing anywhere in this lineup. It's uh, sad. I'm not too happy with their product. Um, but incredible seeds, their stuff grows like crazy. Uh, we've got uh, down here we've got a, a big, a really big uh, Brussels sprout, I mean uh, broccoli situation coming up. Um, there, a lot of broccoli is coming up. We're going to have way too much broccoli and it's going to appear all at once. Uh, the, as you can see the beans are, are completely done. Uh, all the bush beans are out. Uh, we got uh, just, uh, I think it was 120 pounds of uh, beans and, uh, and, and the green beans were unbelievable. They were, they were called a, bu uh, a blue, uh, what are they, a blue lake bush bean. And they tasted uh, like a green bean, but they have the consistency of a yellow bean, not that hard skin on them. They're, they're really nice. We've got about 40 pounds of them. So the beans are done. As you can see, the tomato situation has gotten completely out of hand. Uh, if you can see this in the video, uh, it is 
it's crazy it's turned into a giant hedge um, and the amount of tomatoes that are inside of there it's it's nuts nuts it's hard to believe that without that tomato patch here it was started by seed uh, it's taken over two rows uh, the uh, the beans we've had to rip them out they're done the uh, pole beans were about 70 pounds of pole beans um, this row of pole beans which is getting ripped out today was a failure uh, in compared to the outside row they, they mental note they've got to be five feet apart and you really should have them on the back side of the garden uh, they caused a lot of problems they the peas uh, which were down here the snow peas and the snap peas uh, end up getting uh, crushed out by the tomatoes and the pole beans and uh, we, we didn't even get 10 pounds of peas uh, the final outcome on it it was so mental note they need to be out in the middle of the garden spread out you gotta it, we're learning here uh, you know we gotta it really this this whole fence wire situation should have been spaced out like every second or third row uh, so that there was, there was no shading happening but live and learn first garden but uh, the pole beans uh, we took about 20 pounds off of this row we're gonna uh, give to our neighbors uh, they're going today but this, uh, the, as you can see the tomatoes are crazy uh, and the amount of tomatoes inside this is uh, you, I, I take you in to show you uh, it's hard to see them right now but their uh, next 10 12 days it's gonna be tomato land here um, and and, the, and the, the, the buds just keep happening corn growing like crazy uh, and we're right on uh, uh, right on target here uh, to have corn now this is the heritage harvey seed uh, corn um and it's the bantam uh, they've got a lot of cobs but there's some weird things happening cobs are splitting apart and uh, i'll show you here that's uh it's like some kind of deformed uh situation but they're they're not happy they're uh their seeds not the best so far anyways we'll see how it updates but so far heritage harvey seed is getting a thumbs down zucchini uh, they, they were brought from incredible seeds this plant doesn't stop producing our plants there's eight of them here in this little 10 foot row uh we're over 70 pounds of frozen zucchini so far um and the squash uh the spaghetti squash just keeps keeps budding keeps forming keeps new squash keep appearing and we're going to go around with squash uh, potatoes they'll be coming out this coming week we'll be digging them out uh, as you can see here this end uh, the tomato situation here there's a, a good shot here of some tomatoes let's look at this for a, a group of tomatoes I don't know what that looks like but there that's what the plants are full like you get inside it's just it, it's they're everywhere this one here is massive a little deformed but you know big 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 ass tomatoes so we've got tomatoes. We're gonna go over with tomatoes. The bumblebees are having a great time. I'm gonna get beside this guy just to give you an idea of the size. I'm six feet, and we're talking. There, we're talking a five foot ten plant, and they and they just keep producing. Everywhere you look, uh, this there's like hundreds upon hundreds of tomatoes in here. Uh, and, and you know, since we got rid of the pea, uh, the beans here, uh, the tomatoes have decided now to just start growing across the garden. It's crazy. <laughs> I never would have thought that starting tomatoes by seed. Look at them. That they're they're everywhere. You look through, and it's it's, it's crazy what's inside here. Uh, there's more tomatoes than I think we're gonna know what to do with. Like they're everywhere. It's it's. And we're supposed to have the next two weeks some really nice weather here. Actually, the next two days we're, we're talking 30 degrees. So, but uh, we've got we already took off a bunch of uh, broccoli. Uh, we've got uh, probably about 10 pounds of broccoli so far off of this. Um, we left some uh, beans here that these guys uh, they didn't have anything happening. I think they were choked out, and uh, we're going to see if we get a little snack of beans. But it's you know, uh, it's happening. We're, we're we're harvesting, and this weekend is big harvest weekend. We're up to almost 400 pounds so far frozen. And this weekend will be some serious weight on the carrots. I figure probably about 100 pounds of carrots. So things things are happening. It's good. The uh, rutabaga. Let's see if we'll get you a shot here of the of the big one. There's a nice rutabaga. Look at that. And there's like so many of them, it's, it's, it's 
breed our next batch of romaine. Uh, we planted our our last batch of romaine there. That'll be about three weeks from now. But we've got fresh little romaines. These guys were letting go to seed because this romaine was so good, uh, very strong plant. So we're gonna we let it go and we'll have seeds for next year on that one. But so it's been a, a really good week as far as harvest or actually the last 10 days i didn't do an update last weekend uh, we've been just doing non-stop uh, cleaning every single day it's a lot more work actually harvesting than it is uh, planting it's turning out to be but uh, the end result is we've got a great great supply of really tasty food for the winter time so uh won't be doing an update this sunday uh, but i'll do an update after we're done give you an idea how many carrots we're getting so have a great day by request, here's a, uh, a short video on the uh, harvesting of the uh, heirloom organic uh, carrots. And the first ones we're doing are the chutney, which is the middle row. And this carrot is supposed to be done uh, in a uh, seven day, 70 days, and we left them in for 90. And that whole row is gone now, so we'll take a quick walk down here to the cleaning station compost pile. Um, it, I didn't uh, expect them to be this big. Uh, they're monsters and we've got this wheelbarrow load full and the carrots are we're talking massive massive carrots these things are like that's got to weigh uh, 400 grams so that's just shy of a pound right there that one and we've got a wheelbarrow load and this is only one type so far and as you can see they're they're big carrots so that's uh, what you get when you plant uh, chutney heirloom carrots uh, organically from the incredible seed company phenomenal seeds amazing results October 9th beautiful Sunday it's 27 degrees they're calling for today and yesterday it hit 27 and it's looking like an absolute repeat of yesterday gorgeous weather couldn't ask for any nicer for October the rutabagas, uh, they got a, we got a wheelbarrow load, and uh, the, our scale went to 13 pounds, and uh, they were over 13 pounds, some of them. Quite a few, actually. Uh, they were huge, massive, ugly as butt, but really tasty, sweet. We had parsnips this week uh, again. Uh, they were uh, even better than the last time, but they're more like a uh, care across the potato, very tender, not like the ones at the grocery store. Brussels sprouts are, are going. I don't know what's going to happen with them. Broccoli, we're eating about every third day. We're getting a snack of broccoli. Now the uh, tomatoes are there's just been an explosion. We've got some serious serious uh, tomato happening here uh, There's so many tomatoes in here. Uh, it's weighing. It's, it's actually bending the wire down. There's uh, And as they're turning red inside here, you can start seeing them uh, That they're appearing and they're all over the place And they're big and they're ugly. They're deformed But there's like a lot a lot of them. You can't see them until they start turning red and A lot of tomato action so we're not going to be uh, like the rest of the garden everything is just going to uh, give like it has so far this year lots of it uh, tons of tomatoes tried a little secret uh, a friend of ours told us just to freeze them so we wash it freeze it and uh, you just run it under cold water and the skin comes right off chop it up and we used it for cooking so it does work so it looks like they're gonna be destined for the freezer but there's lots of tomatoes in here Lots of tomatoes, just uh, and they're all big, big tomatoes, not little stuff. Uh, we had uh, six this week, and every one was over a pound. So they're big tomatoes. Uh, we had one last week, about a pound and a half. So, but uh, so the update this week is uh, things are going good. The weather uh, couldn't ask for any better uh, in October, and uh, only one problem is the dogs love tomatoes, and they're stealing tomatoes now. Have a great day. Update for the garden, September the 11th, and things are growing great in the Heirloom Organic Garden. Um, we had a big week uh, last week, but this week, uh, the rutabaga, uh, last Sunday we had a uh, rutabaga, it wasn't ready yet, but it was still tasty, five and a half pounds, the thing was about eight and a half inches in diameter. Uh, the, the parsnips are huge, uh, we've got another wave of uh, romaine coming, we've got the seeds, they're going to be a good batch of seeds. The carrots, we end up getting out of the baby carrots and the uh, the chutneys total was uh, just shy of 70 pounds. We still have the heirloom uh, colorful carrots, which we're leaving them until next weekend. And they're going to be uh, probably, uh, probably a good 45 pounds. 
Uh, Brussels sprouts is growing. Um, not happy with it. Uh, they, they came from the cottage gardener and uh, they actually had uh, some uh, cabbage mixed in. So we've got to get the cabbage, big giant cabbage heads mixed in with this. I'm not happy with the cottage gardener. Uh, and I'm uh, really, really not happy with heritage. This is the uh, cauliflower. Not a single head appearing anywhere. Nothing. Absolutely zip zero. Now, uh, the uh, broccoli from Incredible Seeds, it just keeps producing broccoli every single day. We were cutting off pieces like crazy. It's a lot of broccoli. Now, look at the tomatoes. It's crazy what's inside of these tomatoes. Uh, the, the rows, of you can see, are just sprawling across the garden now. The tomatoes are huge. They're six, seven, eight, nine inch diameter. Not nine, but eight inch diameter. They're really, really big uh, tomatoes inside. Should start going red in another week. Our corn is uh, massive. It's just starting to smell. So I expect the coons to start showing up soon. Uh, but I'm not happy with heritage. There you've got some pretty, look at this for a corn cob. Ever seen anything like that myself? It looks like a Monsanto corn cob. But anyways, I'm not happy with heritage. Uh, we've uh, the, the kernels are blown, cobs are blown apart. Just doesn't make any sense. And they're really, really small. And they're just starting now, which they're about a week late. So, oh, but who knows? Now we've got the uh, zucchini, monster zucchini plant, starting to finally die off. It's uh, but it's still producing lots of flowers, still producing fruit, but the main body of it's dying off. And there's a couple of zucchini uh, we've got in there that are over uh, 30 inches long so far. That are, we're keeping for seed. Our uh, spaghetti squash growing uh, like crazy. Center is dying, but it's got all new growth at the ends, and we've got new flowers forming. So I don't know how long this thing is going to think that it's going to keep going on. We've had some interesting things. Uh, we had a, from what we found on the internet, we've had some spaghetti squash that uh, crossed with the zucchini. It's got the zucchini markings, but it's got the squash shape. So uh, we found some on the internet and. Other people have had this happen to them also. So a mental note, don't plant squash and zucchini side by side, but uh, you can tell the color of it, it's starting to go. It's not as bright green as normal. But it's still got flowers. The flowers are still appearing inside. Uh, and uh, the zucchini that's inside of there, I don't know if we can get a shot of her. No, we can't see it, but uh, it's a huge, huge zucchini. Corn plants, you can see from this side, like the sheer size, well, they're pushing almost uh, nine and a half feet tall. They're really, really big cobs. Uh, but there's a uh, not happy with that heritage harvest seed they've got some bad bad seeds but uh, you know the tomatoes here there's tomatoes like they're, uh, they're green but there's just they're everywhere it's, it's crazy the amount of tomatoes that are in here the plum tomatoes that are appearing like uh, they're they're everywhere if it lasts another month of growing we're gonna have more tomatoes than you shake a stick out they're, and they're big tomatoes like it's just, it's, and they're like that, it's all through it. It's, they're just big, 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 big tomatoes. And lots of them. And they're all over the inside. But it's just a huge tomato patch is what it's become. And the uh, broccoli here. So things are, are growing great. We're coming to the end of the season. And we're, uh, we've got a bit of a break this weekend. We're not taking anything out of the garden. Nothing's ready. But the uh, rutabaga, we took it out of here. And uh, it was a big one. Five and a half pound rutabaga. And it was very tasty. But it wasn't totally matured yet. So it was a little, uh, a little mild. But it uh, boiled her up. Mushed her up. Tasted great. So until next weekend. And uh, we've got a busy weekend next weekend. And the carrots are coming out. And there might be uh, some other items coming out, like some corn. Well, can't wait for corn. Got a tool to remove the kernels. We'll give you a video of that, too. Have a great day. Thanks a lot. Good morning. September the 18th is about 7 a.m. It's nice and cold. Last night we had a frost. Uh, it wasn't that bad. It was minus 1. Uh, but Friday night was minus 2.5. It was very, very cold. And we had to uh, do some work in the garden yesterday. To, I mean, on uh, this weekend to get ready for this, uh, the rutabaga is going crazy. Ma massive rutabagas. Uh, I don't know if you can see anything here. They're, they're like all eight, nine inch diameters. Parsnips are growing great. They'll be done uh, around the 10th, 15th of October. Everything in here is gone now. Uh, the colorful carrots came out yesterday. We'll be cleaning them up today. There's about 50 pounds of the red carrots. Our Brussels sprouts are not. Uh, 
the season's just not long enough. We need six more weeks. We should have started those inside. But hey, first year. Cauliflower, absolutely just ripped it out. There wasn't a single head forming at all, like nothing. Uh, it was uh, just a waste of space. Cottage Gardener, that company's seeds, scary. Uh, our broccoli uh, just keeps potent broccoli every single day. We're eating broccoli every day. Now our tents, uh, they're a massive uh, potato or tomato patch here. Uh, Friday night uh, was so cold that anything that was touching the plastic died. It was, um, it was like I, I think got to be minus three down here in a low lying area. Low lying area is great for moisture, not good for when it comes to cold. Corn is uh, the, this corn here. The bantam corn is ready. We're, we've been ripping it off, uh, but the the big harvest of the other corn it uh, will be next week, and I think. It's due, it's very close. We had some last night, it's uh, it's still white, uh, and it's just turning on yellow, but it's it's sweet and it's tasty. Uh, spaghetti squash, we had to cover it because it's so cold down here, everything was freezing. And we had some squash Friday night, actually get some frost burn on top of it. Um, it but this, this cold snap is, uh, is one of them September freaks. There's our big giant tent, uh, saving our tomatoes. Uh, it's supposed to, Start getting nice again. Uh, tonight's the last night of cold, and we're back to normal temperatures of high of 20 during the, <coughs> 20 during the day and lows of 10 at night. So it's uh, it's just a typical Arctic cold front that has come in and given us a blast of cold air for the last uh, two nights and one more night to go. But during the day, uh, the uh, sky is as clear as could be. The sun's out. And she warms up real nice. And, as you can see, the sun's just starting to come up over there on my shoulder here. And uh, still, everything's tasting real great that we're taking out. And uh, have a great day. Good morning, September 25th, Sunday. It's just an absolutely gorgeous uh, day. Uh, what a difference a week has made. It's going to be uh, 25 and sunny today. Not a cloud in the sky the last couple of days. The rutabagas are, are massive. Um, they're really, 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 really big. Uh, Parsnips are, are monsters. They're growing uh, unbelievably good. Uh, Brussels sprouts are, uh, like I said, planted them a little too late. Uh, broccoli, we're getting broccoli off it every single day. Uh, now the tomatoes, we, as you can see, we've snipped them back because we're trying to stop them from getting bigger uh, because they just will not stop growing and to focus on the fruit and we've had just a massive explosion. You would not believe the amount of uh, tomatoes that are hidden inside there and they're just starting to go red. They are beautiful tomatoes, tasty, I've had some already, uh, not very red, but it was pink corn today. Today's corn day, uh, we're going to be taking off the outside rows, these three end rows are done, um, we're going to thin them out on the outside because the inside needs more sun, the plants are still alive, the top got frostbitten and they got killed, but the bottom of the plants are still alive, so we've got to thin them out and uh, get, the, get the corn happening here today. Uh, unfortunately I broke the tool and uh, I won't be using my tool. I had to buy another one it isn't here yet. Now the zucchini which as you can see gets kind of devastated by the uh, frost uh, has sprung back to life and we've got all new growth, new flowers are appearing. Actually there's a nice little guy right there, the flowers just came out. Uh, we've got zucchinis popping up everywhere again. It's like it started a whole new life. Uh, it's got, uh, we, I think this week we've gotten off of it. 11 zucchinis this week um, even after getting hit with frost and coming back to life now there's a big guy here Let's get a shot of it I don't know what that looks like there That's, uh, but as she's growing the, uh, the squash is actually coming back to life also week uh, there's just be bright yellow and uh, we take them in according to what the internet says our potatoes are still going and uh, we're eating away a little bit at those now the tomatoes oh we've got a bright red one this morning not totally bright but uh, we got tomatoes like it's crazy the amount of tomatoes I don't know you know, what you can see but these are uh, there's just been an explosion of tomatoes uh, there it's so crazy what's hidden inside here uh, for tomatoes uh, but we've had to chop her back. We got some pretty, you know, deformed looking tomatoes, but there's some big guys here. You know? And they're just starting to turn red. 
So this week uh, we've noticed a big difference since the frost and but as you can see like the size of these things they're they're huge and it's just full of tomatoes and there's lots of them yesterday I cut off uh, one third of a wheelbarrow worth of tops and and new flowers so they've had two major trimmings to keep them back uh, but it, now it's just nothing but fruit uh, that's all there is here just a, a lot of fruit hidden inside the they're they're beautiful tomatoes too so i'm just uh this week we're forecast is supposed to be all nice another nice week of growing uh, it's supposed to start raining uh yeah, the brussels sprouts the single cabbage seed that somehow was inside the brussels sprouts packaging and their brussels sprouts are a joke they ain't happening a lot of uh, growth but no heads forming heritage harvest seed cottage gardener stay the hell away from those guys their seeds suck oh the carrots we end up getting out of the colorful carrot row here uh, we end up getting uh, 42 pounds of red and uh, yellow and uh, uh, white carrots uh, now look at these rutabagas they're uh, I don't know what you can see here there's some big guys. I'm gonna get a shot of a really big guy here. I'm looking uh, if we can get a clear shot. It's probably when you start moving the branches, they break. Uh, yeah, get a good shot here. They're pretty fluffed up. Like, we got, uh, oh, here's this one here. In there, oh, that looks like. These guys are like nine, ten inches across. They're, we had one the other day, They're, uh, here's a big guy I can get a shot of, oh, can't get in there. What can I say, things are growing great, 25 degrees today uh, is the high, it's a beautiful week, the whole week is going to be a little bit of rain, uh, but once again there's uh, no frost warning in the next 10 days uh, according to the weather report, so we had two really bad days, things have sprung back. And we're still growing and producing lots of food. See you next week. October 2nd and it's a uh, gloomy day. It's cool. It's 10 degrees. Uh, it was about 6 this morning and the cool weather is here now. Fall is here and today's the big harvest day. Uh, we're doing a bunch of harvesting. As you can see our rutabagas are... Actually the rutabagas are crazy the size. They're uh, And they're tasty. I figure there's got to be 150 pounds of rutabagas there. But these things are, they're pushing 32 inches tall and they've just, they're huge. And they're just massive. I wouldn't doubt they're 80 pounds a piece. And our uh, parsnips, which they're going to be probably be ready here in about another two more weeks. Uh, it's supposed to be the middle of October. They'll be ready. They'll be done. And our, uh, bro our Brussels sprouts hits are right off. Broccoli, we're getting broccoli and we're letting it go to seed down there. Uh, it uh, got sort of screwed up as I found out the heat this year. Tomatoes are now back under the tent uh, because they we're getting nights now that are going to one degree at night. So uh, we've got to keep them covered so they stay warm because the explosion of uh, growth of the tomatoes in there, you it's, it's crazy the amount of tomatoes that are in there. And I just would hate to lose them and I want them vine ripen. So today, corn's coming down today. Uh, we're going to do the corn. Uh, right now we're picking the corn and uh, it's going to be gone and we're going to clean her up and freeze it to, by the end of the day. So that'll be taken care of. Our uh, zucchini is still producing zucchini. I think we got three off it this week. Uh, we've just cut all the uh, squash out, the spaghetti squash. And we're going to put it in the shed and uh, let it dry out the next two weeks and it'll turn yellow. As, uh, potatoes are coming out today. Uh, they're also, it's time for them to come out. And the, the damp weather cools here. And But the, uh, the tomatoes, uh, we got... Tomatoes this week, two of them so far, one and a half pounds. But as you can see there, they're starting to turn and they're massive. Uh, we had a uh, bacon tomato sandwich this morning that uh, the tomato was actually bigger than the slice of bread. Uh, and that's what they're like. It's just it's crazy. They're all huge tomatoes. So things are going great. We've got a big day ahead of us. We're probably going to do uh, probably about 45 pounds of corn today. Uh, and we've got over 34 uh, spaghetti squash and uh, no idea what the potatoes are going to be like, but we'll give you an update next week on that. So have a great day. 
October 2nd uh, Sunday update well we're uh, digging potatoes and we are blown away by the amount of potatoes we have we're almost done and I just had to show you okay so we have three small rows here and I've got about uh, six feet left to go and so far we've gotten this much potatoes and the crazy part is is that we were talking big potatoes anyways crazy part is I don't even eat potatoes October 4th, uh, midweek update. Uh, rutabaga are coming out today. And I wanted to show it to you. Look at the size of this thing. We're talking some big, big, big ass rutabaga. Anyways, the whole row is coming out today. Anyway, probably, oh, 150 pounds. Minimum. Rutabaga, harvest finish, part two. Okay, it's they're all gone, and uh, we didn't get as much as we thought we would get. <laughs> Bet you there's like 150 pounds there. It's crazy. And considering we only eat rutabaga maybe 15 times a year, I guess we're eating a lot the next year. Well, it's October 23rd. Didn't do an update last week. Uh, it was just basically it was bad weather. Everything was covered. Nothing to show you. Nothing had changed. But uh, this is the now the end of the season for the tomatoes. Uh, they're done this week. Uh, we uh, have to take them in. Weather's getting uh, coming really bad starting on uh, Wednesday. So anyways, the uh, parsnips though, will be in for probably another 10 more days. Uh, we had some last night and they were over 2 inches diameter and about 14 inches long. Uh, they were just massive and really, really, really tender. Which is really, really strange for the size of them. And uh, Brussels sprouts, well, I don't know what to say. It's just sort of keeps going and going, but nothing's happening, nothing's forming. Uh, we're having uh, broccoli. Uh, just keeps giving us broccoli every second, third day. So, now the tomatoes. This week is the end of the tomatoes. And I don't know what you can see here, but the uh, amount of tomatoes that are in here. And these are big tomatoes, uh, like the little guy, like this guy here, weighs weighs almost three quarters of a pound. And there's ones that are just massive, like, uh, but there's, uh, like, I figure there's probably two pushing three wheelbarrow loads of tomatoes in here. And they're all big. And they're really slowing down because it doesn't get warm enough during the day now. We're only getting about 12, 14 tops and uh, it's just not warm enough. We take them inside and they uh, basically in about five days ripen sitting in the garage in the windows. So uh, this week they're saying Wednesday the bad weather is coming and we're down to single digit temperatures and uh, minus at night so it's it's time to wrap the tomatoes up and bring them in. Give them a home in the shell to ripen up so we can get ready to freeze them all and uh, what we've done we've, we, we've basically freeze them run them under uh, warm water and the skins peel right off and then throw them in a pot wait till they thaw out and boil them and it seems to work real good I'd, uh, it's less of a mess in the kitchen and uh, if you're not in a rush I, it works and then the, soft, the uh, end result is really tasty crushed tomatoes okay so that's the update this week and a lot of work ahead of us the next five days. Hello fellow YouTubers. Uh, well, it's uh, been a busy day. I'm a little tired. I've been washing tomatoes for about seven hours. I want to give you a quick update here uh, what the final total was. Uh, it was three wheelbarrow loads exactly, uh, uh, which you've seen my wheelbarrow on the rutabaga video. So it's a lot of tomatoes. And after we washed them, this is what we got. That's our tomato supply. Now we've already got uh, about I think 72 pounds of frozen sauce uh, in red ripe tomatoes and this is our green tomatoes so we've got a lot more I'm going to be giving tomatoes away. Now that's a crop load of tomatoes and they're big. There are tomatoes here that are uh, a pound and a half. Uh, they're, I can't say nothing negative about the heirloom tomatoes I just wish my season was a little longer uh, or I could have started the plant six weeks earlier inside but that would have been hard because I didn't buy the seeds in time. So. Uh, that wraps it for the tomato season, and I'll give you an update uh, this weekend on the parsnips. Hello, fellow YouTubers. It's Friday, October 28th. It's a you know, it's a nice day. It's the end of October. Cool weather is now here officially. Uh, late fall. Last night it was minus six. Uh, the other minus five. 
we're not getting any higher than four degrees during the day uh, so we've, today's the, the day parsnips are coming out now I wanted to give you an update here they're uh, they're huge my, my shovel's not uh, big enough or long enough I should say to get underneath them uh, I have to be very careful like, dig like very deep around them to get them out because they're so long like this thing here just to give you an idea now we're talking 14 inches they're huge now got half the road done so far but uh, the last three nights has been very very cold and they're not uh, they spring back up around noon they start coming back but every day less and less spring back so uh, when you come out first thing in the morning they're flattened uh, they, when they're frozen and this morning was minus six and they were completely flattened but they're uh, they are very very tender which is very strange uh, we let them grow two weeks longer than they're supposed to they were supposed to be done October the 11th so uh, we let them go two weeks longer and uh, they haven't gotten tough we had some the other night and tonight we're having some more they're really great if you uh, bake them with uh, balsamic vinegar for 35 minutes slice them up uh, they're really tasty you know, considering normally a uh, grocery store um, carrots and parsnips I, were my favorite mixed together I after having my own parsnips now I, I don't want to mix them with carrots they're actually they're really tasty by themselves they they taste uh, these ones anyways these heirloom uh, or organic ones are they taste like a, a carrot cross with a potato and from what I understand on the internet uh, they actually were the the uh, what everybody used in Europe before the potatoes were brought uh, imported to Europe was parsnips in the Middle Ages so I didn't know that uh, but after eating them I can see uh, you know they're very hardy plant these are unbelievable uh, tough uh, they've been frozen I'd, I'd say um, off the top of my head I think they've been frozen now a solid uh, seven nights uh, and they just keep growing so I, I could see how in the northern climates they would uh, be a good staple which they were for thousands of years from what I found out now uh, but our broccoli still growing uh, tonight we're gonna have a take a snack of broccoli off this also which I can't believe broccoli uh, I didn't realize it was such a hardy plant that it could be frozen and still grow uh, which you can see the broccoli they're not thick heads but they're they're, well, they're thin but they're tasty and uh, they're still going the Brussels sprouts I don't know what's gonna happen with those they're uh, it's just leaf matter. There's no heads growing. There's one cabbage that popped in the seeds, which uh, I didn't know this. The, the cabbage and the uh, cauliflower and broccoli and, and Brussels sprouts all come from the same family. So that's why you can get uh, a cabbage can pop up in your seeds like that. That's what I've found out. Maybe I'm, I'm wrong on my research, but that's what I found on the web. That this is a common occurrence among uh, Brussels sprouts plants to have a cabbage plant appear. So. But that's today's uh, update. It's early. Uh, I won't be having one on Sunday. Uh, but I'll be cleaning parsnips probably for about four hours on Sunday. Have a great day. I wanted to introduce you to my dogs uh, because of these two guys I had absolutely not a single pest rodent problem no raccoons no skunks nothing in my garden because of these two guys they saved me building the fence and it was so easy to train them not to stampede through the garden I simply put up blue lines which you saw in previous videos so it was just blue uh, baler twine down the rows and uh, they just knew to walk down the rows and not across the garden and they saved me a ton of work I didn't have to build a fence we had no deer we had nothing great job and hard to believe the old guy he's uh turns 11 next month and he's still got a little bit of Piss and vinegar left in him. A lot. Does a lot of sleeping. But uh, our other guy there, our great Dane Rawwilder Cross, he's a he turns seven this year. But he's gonna be a lonely dog shortly. He's the old guy's uh, not doing well. He's got cancer and liver problems. And, but he uh, right now he's had a burst of energy, which normally he does nothing but sleep, 
lay you down anywhere. Doesn't matter what the weather's like. He's uh, a Malamute uh, Lab Cross. And he, uh, it's in November, it's his birthday. And he's a great dog. But he has a tendency to kill everything with four legs and eat it. Uh, and that's uh, just the kind of breed he is, I guess. Loves humans. Doesn't Not too fond of kids. He was a abused pup. But he's uh, certainly uh, best friends with Spike. And they do love each other. As you can see, for two old dogs, still giving each other lovings. Anyways, just wanted to give you an update uh, on uh, how I took care of my deer, raccoon, skunk problem. I just let my dogs protect my garden.